Hi kids! Today we will learn what is food web and examples of food webs. So let's start. There is not one, but many food chains in a single habitat. And when all food chains are joined up, it forms a food web. Food web is much more complicated than a food chain. Now let's see examples of food web. Here we have a simple example of food web. Let's try to understand this food web. This is a network of several simple food chains joined together. First of all, all plants prepare food using the energy from the sun. Plants are then consumed by herbivore, insects and animals. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Animals are then consumed by carnivores. And all animals, when dead, are decomposed by microorganisms like bacteria and fungi into nutrients that are again used by plants to make food and to breathe. Now let's see the various food chains in this food web. Plants are eaten by butterflies. Butterflies by lizard and lizard by eagle. Plants are eaten by grasshopper and the grasshopper by frog and frog by snake. Again, Plants are eaten by grasshopper, grasshoppers by birds, birds by snake, and then snake by eagle. Like this, so many food chains are there. Next is plants, rats, owl. Plants, then squirrels, and then owl. Plants, then rabbits, and then owl. Plants, grasshopper, spider, and then insect-eating birds. Plants, butterfly, lizard, snake, and then eagle. There are still many more. Plants, rats, and then foxes. Plants, rabbits, and then again foxes. And at the end of every food chain, there are decomposers. So there is a complex network of food chains interlinked in a habitat. And arrows in food chain not only show who eats whom, but they also show the direction of flow of energy in the food chain. Like in this example, energy is flowing from the producers to the herbivores, herbivores to the carnivores, and carnivores to the decomposers. All organisms in a food web are classified as producers, consumers, and decomposers. Producers Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. These are green plants that are able to make their own food using energy from the sun, nutrients and water from the soil by the process of photosynthesis. Consumers, the animals that cannot make their own food and get energy from other plants, and animals are called consumers. A food chain can have three to four consumers, and consumers are further classified into three types. First level consumers, second level consumers, and third level consumers. 
First level consumers are those that directly feed on plants. Example, rabbits, rats, grasshopper, butterflies, and squirrels. Second level of consumers are those that feed upon the first level consumers. Example, insectivorous birds, frog, and lizards, all these animals eat the primary consumers, like rabbits, rats, grasshoppers, and butterflies that eat plants only. Third level consumers are those that eat or feed on the second level consumers. Example, fox, owls, snakes, and eagles. In a food chain or a web, energy is lost at each step. There must be a lot of producers to support a few tertiary consumers. If there are 1,000 units of energy at producer level, primary consumer will get 100 units of energy and secondary consumers will get 10 units and tertiary or the third level consumers will get only one unit of energy. So kids, today we learned what is food web and the flow of energy in food webs. Now you may go ahead and take your quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.